Hi everyone, it's Lonnie. Welcome back to Grace Blossoms for You. And I wanted to finish the topical journal today with the topic of eternal life and salvation. So I have a few more verses that I wanted to put in and some more pockets and stuff. And then I guess we'll do a quick flip through and then we'll be done with this um, little series well the series of one so far i haven't decided if i'm going to do another topic although i wouldn't mind i've got some other ideas that i want to do so probably will continue for a little bit anyways all right so first i wanted to make an envelope and this material is tissue paper with glue on it I don't recall putting a backing on it. Just maybe tissue paper and napkin paper. But I really don't think there is any napkin paper on it. Anyways, it's pretty see-through, so. It, oh, I think I know. I think I remember. Was it tracing paper and tissue paper? Because they're both kind of translucent. Anyways, it's very crinkly. Which I like. If you don't like it, I'm sorry. So I'm just going to do a quick envelope here. Is crinkly isn't it I guess you either love it or hate it I think it's fun because I was able to use a tissue paper for something I don't normally use it for so I was happy I don't even know if I want to really ink this a lot. Maybe just a little bit. That's good. All right, so probably put that in at the end. Now, I have some pockets already made and I have the verses written out. So I just gotta find some empty pages. I think the back is probably more empty. Oh yeah, we got a lot more room in the back. So Huh. I didn't measure the pockets. They're a little bit wide. Why? <laughs> Another reason not to make your pages so small. Uh, 
Okay, this one will have room there if I cut it down just a little bit. And that dry for a bit. That will stick out, but that's okay because um, it won't stick out. It shouldn't stick out past the um, cover. I need a I was making some fabric covered paper clips. I think this would be nice. I used a ruffle and it's got a maybe dress it up a little. I really love this crocheted lace from the dollar store. I did buy a whole bunch. Okay, I'm just gonna put this to the side. Maybe. Something of a stamp. stamp with some bling on it. How about that? I saw Tina at Shabby Dabby Doodah do these and um, I thought they were kind of fun. So, all right, then back to our journal. You can tell I've been working, right? <laughs> Maybe not. Anyways, I was thinking of putting this over here. out a little bit too that's okay then if you wanted to add a charm or something you could always add them to the, um, the paper clips on the edge there 
All right, so let's see. I think what I'm gonna do is put some paper in the envelope in case the person wants to write their own verses. Let's see, maybe put a verse in there. Okay, so 1 John 5, verses 11 through 13 and verse 20. And the testimony is this, that God has given us eternal life, and this life is in his Son, he who has the Son has the life. He who does not have the Son of God does not have the life. These things I have written to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, so that you may know that you have eternal life. And we know that the Son of God has come and has given us understanding so that we may know him who is true. And we are in him who is true, his Son, Jesus Christ. This is the true God and eternal life. I really like this, especially the last part. It's one of the few places in the Bible where it comes straight out and says, Jesus is God. Talking about the Son, Jesus Christ. This is the true God and eternal life. So, I really like that. I mean, there are other sections, like where Jesus says, I and the Father are one. All right, then, this one should be stuck down by now. Let's put one in there. That'll work. Romans 6, 22 and 23. But now having been freed from sin and enslaved to God, you derive your benefit resulting in sanctification and the outcome eternal life. For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. room for a short one in there yet. 1 Timothy 6 verse 12. Fight the good fight of faith. Take hold of the eternal life to which you were called and you made the good confession in the presence of many witnesses. Okay, we can stick one right here John 17 verses 2 and 3 you gave him authority over all flesh that to all whom you have given him he may give eternal life this is eternal life that they may know you the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you have sent Okay, let's see. Um, this one. We could do this as a side. This is a flip pocket. A pocket flip. I don't know what you want to call it, but the pocket's over here. So you could put this on the edge. And then you could make a secret pocket yet. So let's do that. This paper is from Victoria Designs. It's one of her gifts. If you subscribe to her newsletter, she's very generous. I 
I really like her things, but unfortunately my printer does not like the, some of the colors that she uses. They're too soft for my printer. I don't know. I would rather have a different printer, but <laughs> it is what it is. All right, so I want to line this up kind of close to that edge. And I'm going to let that stick for a bit. All right, let's see, what else do we have empty here? Oh, the middle is empty, how about that? So this is 2 Corinthians 4, verses 17 to chapter 5, verse 1. For momentary light affliction is producing for us an eternal weight of glory far beyond all comparison, while we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. For we know that if the earthly tent, which is our house, is torn down, we have a building from God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. Yay, something to look forward to. Something wonderful. Okay, I'm going to use one of my little paper clips, altered Pretty thick. Wait, what? There we go. I don't know. Sometimes. Oh. That would actually look better over here because it both has dragonflies on it. Okay. we go. Then we probably still need something for the very middle. I'm okay leaving some of the pages blank, but maybe not in the very center. So what can we do? Oh, paper clip there already, so we could just put in a verse. Romans 5, verses 20 and 21. The law came in so that the transgression would increase. But where sin increased, grace abounded all the more, so that as sin reigned in death, even so grace would reign through righteousness to eternal life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Put that there. And we have one more and again this one is probably a little little wide but if I I can just clip a little bit of the edge off shouldn't be too obvious. I could have done that one as a side pocket, but I already had put the the bird and made him directional, so. All right, so I'm just gonna let that stick on there for a bit. And 
I'll read this one and then we can decide where to put it. Oh, I'm going to make a pocket out of that one. Well, we still can. I made myself a note. Good thing I looked back there. Okay. Hebrews 3, verses 4 through 7. But when the kindness of God, our Savior, and his love for mankind appeared, he saved us, not on the basis of deeds which we have done in righteousness, but according to his mercy, by the washing of regeneration and renewing by the Holy Spirit, whom he poured out upon us richly through Jesus Christ our Savior, so that being justified by his grace, we would be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. Yippers. All right, I'm going to put that over there. Nobody's going to see the inside of the pocket. So. Unless it comes off, and then they'll have a secret to how I made this pocket. <laughs> All right, so there's this one. So now we should have a bunch of extra pockets that we need to fill. Hmm. Probably what I'll do is add some journaling cards to the pockets that have nothing in them. Because it, it's fun to have things in the pockets, isn't it? In fact, I found some interesting things. I don't think... I'll have to go through them and see if there's already these things in there, because... Honestly, I don't remember everything I put in. What a nice problem to have. Pretty sure I didn't put any of those things in, so. We don't want everything falling on top of us either, so. All right. Let's have a look through, see what we've done. Salvation and eternal life. Here's our first pocket with the tag and a verse. I did some stenciling off camera. Okay, so here's our first pocket. And I want to say, let's put some more scripture towards the middle. Like if there's some places with two things, we could maybe spread the verses out a bit. So that would work. Except that pocket's not stayed down yet. What I might do is take that smaller piece one's a little, little smaller there and then it can stick out like so okay so there we have something blank I'm okay with that I mean a person might want to write something on there or they might want to make their own pockets and put stuff in 
should always leave room for other people's creativity. That's my thinking. All right, so here's that hello flag we made. And a flip up first. The faux rice paper heart. It's got a few verses in it. Oh yes, I wanted to do something on this pocket. It's a little plain. I made a bow, I wonder. Actually, it kind of matches the, um, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. See if this is still a warm. Oh boy, why does it always... It's on, and then by the time you need it, it's turned off. Isn't that just the way? Oh well, it gives me a chance to figure out what direction I want this. Because we turn this into a tuck. Probably put that in that corner there. Maybe some little bit of lace behind her. Yeah, like that. Oh well, I like using this glue when it's not super hot because then it's not so scary to burn myself. That's kind of cute. Alright, then we do have an empty pocket here. And that has a burst on it. So that works. It has a little decoration on it. I think that's probably enough. Again, people can decorate further. Just because you receive a journal one way doesn't mean you have to um, leave it there. You can totally make it your own. All right, so then belly band with the color swatch. There's a pocket we made. Blank space. Here's a tuck spot with two verses. Here's two verses. see how many first oh I see another pocket so I made this pocket with the doily yesterday I cut a, a bird out okay so this um, doily pocket actually will take if I didn't glue it shut again. So there's one, and then there's one behind there. And I used that uh, feather wrapping paper to just back that doily. I put a little bit of a ladybug over here. This is a pocket I made a while ago, and I just put a journaling spot in this one that I made had a book page. So there's that. Um, this actually might be, yeah, it's a single pocket. All right, continuing. Okay, so there's the envelope we made today. Um, I haven't seen any of the journaling cards yet so here is a verse unto itself thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path I actually um, 
took that out of my journal. So that can go here. I want it to stick out just a little, like so. I could decorate this, but there's already so much on there. Sometimes I just don't want to mess with the, what's already there. Alright, so what else? There's a blank page. I think I would actually like to put some lines. I'm trying to make broken lines on purpose. Of course, now that I said that. There. That will give the person the hint that they can actually write in here as well. All right, so there's that envelope we made and that paper clip with fabric on it, a verse and note paper in there, another pocket, here's something I did off camera as well, I stenciled on there and I made a pocket out of that lace and I backed that with the green eucalyptus um, faux rice paper and I just stuck some little bit of uh, notepad back there and I did put a little bitty cluster on there some more blank pages more stenciling and then we have reached the back with the couple of verses a belly band and Um, let's see, there's this, which I could have used I could have used that for a verse, but I didn't this time. So I was thinking what I could do is make a, another pocket. Do I want to... Give it some fancy edging. I guess I do because I am. Um, actually, maybe I'll just clip that down with a paper clip. There's quite a few pockets in here already. So what I might do is, <clears throat> excuse me, take one of these cutesy wootsy little paper clips. I didn't choose the color, but I like the design. It's got a little heart in it. Like so. And two. Another thing we could do is take a paper clip. Um, let's see what what ribbon do I want? Do I want ribbon or do I want lace?
could maybe use some more of this sparkly stuff. Because why not? Doesn't have to be super long for this project. I'm just gonna attach this and then I thought it would be easier to attach the ribbon to it. Okay, maybe not. Take the ribbon. Sorry if I'm not in camera. Take the ribbon, tie a, uh, a knot. I don't think I wanted a bow on there. Just a knot. Except it's too long now. Maybe a double knot? There we go. And then kind of pull that up. And I want to give that like a major slant. Somehow it doesn't want to cut very well. Okay, good enough. It will do what it wants. Alright, so then I'm going to put this over here. So then that can kind of stick out. And then I'm just going to put like a journaling card. It's a set actually. With butterflies there and then there's a bigger one with butterflies and it can go there all right now i just need someone that would like this journal so i either have to wait for someone that I think would benefit from it, or I will have to... Time will tell, and the Lord will show me what it needs, what needs to happen there. Now, do I need a closure? I mean, it's great that it just pops open like that, but... Let's see. I think even just for um, sending it off or keeping it on a shelf, you don't want it popping open all the time. So I'm just gonna take some raffia here. Close it too tight, just just tight enough so that um, it doesn't pop open. Something like so. And with raffia, you don't have to be too fussy. Just you can be as fussy as you want. But how come my bow's upside down? After saying you don't have to be too fussy, she becomes fussy. All right, there we go. It's no longer upside down. All right, so that's it. That is our first topical journal done. And uh, I hope you enjoyed that because it was fun for me. I mean, I've seen 
journals with themes on them. And I guess this is kind of what that was. But since we were doing a, you know, going through a topic in the Bible, I thought topical seemed about right. So thanks for joining me and uh, we'll see you again next time. Bye for now.